Hello and well, well, hello and welcome to Nanny Moon's Crochet. My name's Sally and it's Monday the 26th of August 2024 and this is episode 33. And before I show you what I've been up to, I'd like to say a massive happy birthday to Mr. Alan Viney. Happy birthday, Al. Have a great day. <laughs> Talk to you later. And... Welcome to all my new subscribers. I had quite a few over the weekend, so everyone's welcome. Uh, returning and new. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you about is um, Natasha. Hi, Natasha. She's got a three a cow crochet along going on, and it's the. Oh, sorry, ribs are still really sore. If you see meat going like that, that's, that's why they're still really, really tender. Um, she's had this 3D book for a while. And when she said she was going to do a crochet along, I thought, I've, I've seen this book for a couple of years and never bought it. But I love the, the lion here and the rainbow. And the, the, the sheep. I did like that, but that was really difficult. So that's not one of my favourites, the kiwi. But anyway, there was a lot of them that I really, I really liked. So I thought I'll buy the book and do the crochet, do the crochet along with her. So it's a hundred crochet patterns for pop-up granny squares. It's by Katie Moore, Shana Moore, and Celine Simon. And it's um. Like I said, there's a hundred, a hundred squares, and they're all they're all in categories. So I know I've said before, but I'm going to put categories together, and for my six grandchildren, I'm going to do like a theme. There's because there's under the sea, holidays, mini beasts, flowers, motifs, abstracts, celebrations. Then you get animal magic, wild beasts, fruit and veg, and food and drink. So there's quite a lot. Um, just for example, under the sea, we've got jellyfish, a whale, a shark, a crab, terrapin, fish, shell, turtle, and starfish. So if I do a four square cushion for them, um, I think that'd be nice as one of their Christmas presents. So... Uh, last last week we've done the succulent. Uh, Natasha picks them out at random out of a a little tub. So this this last week was week seventeen and squares number thirty three and thirty four. So we're getting on well. Um, and because we're doing two a week. So the first one was page 79 and it was the succulent. So that was the succulent and that did look quite intricate with all this, this bit going on here. And it was okay. It, it definitely wouldn't be for, for a beginner. Definitely not because it was quite... Um, that's... That's how it turned out. And this was all it was like a, a bit like a cabbage. Um but you had to you had to work into the top of that that row and also the bottom of that row. So it, you know you had to be a bit careful. And these I think these should have been puff stitches, but they haven't puffed out. They haven't puffed out very well, but anyway, that's it looks a bit like a cactus, I think, but it's um well the succulent is I suppose, isn't it cactus? But anyway, that's my succulent done. And the next one I thought this one was going to be fun. That was a fried egg. So that's the picture. And that's my fried egg. <laughs> that one was okay. I like doing that one. Just straightforward. 
and it definitely looks like an egg and in the book every now and again they'll show you the square and they'll show you a little project so it's just all it is really is adding the little hanger but you can have it as um i'm doing mine in uh dk in starcraft special dk for most of it so it's an acrylic but these i think would be in a cotton because the yarn they use oops let me go back to the beginning they use wait a minute um the, all the way through the book they use paint box yarns cotton dk range in 50 gram balls so if you were to do that little hot pad or whatever it is pot holder you would have to do it in the cotton really because of the heat um but i'm not so that's there were oh no not the same size they don't tend to come out the same size but not that i'd do these two on a cushion together but i'd just put a few extra rows round to make it the same size but these two see that's just a little bit smaller but those two won't be going together so that's another two another two down now she chooses every monday so she's chose already the two that we're doing for next week are we've got the avocado so that looks a nice one to do avocado and the other one is the granny heart that looks a nice one too doesn't it they're all nice but uh like i was saying last week everything's squashed up here whereas they could have put it here but um, one of my lovely subscribers said take a, a screenshot and then i can enlarge it you know so i might do that i just think with all that wasted space they could have they could have arched it down a bit couldn't they never mind i'll take a screenshot and see it in bigger bigger lettering so um that's the three that's like i said that's the three decal and those those will be squares 35 and 36 and this is week 18 of doing those so that's that's coming on the next the next cow i'll keep it in this bag that i made this was um this was a sleeping whip and all i had to do really was line it so i've got that green check that side that that side and i've made the handles and everything just put the handles on so this um this crochet long fits in there and we've got a year of granny squares and this is by kylie maletta and this is hosted by jenny from in my spare time morning jenny and over in australia so you've got 52 grannies to crochet one for every week of the year and with this one we're just going along we're not picking at random we're going along as they come so we've done spring kite and whoops number two was the first bloom that was not very big and number three was the rose hip they're all really nice to do and this week we had the aquilegia and then to me i thought oh that looks a little bit difficult but it's classed as a two two ball difficulty 
and that was my square. Aren't they beautiful? All the, you know how the really 3D comes out, but it tells you exactly where to start each row and at the top of the point, you know. So I thought that was really nice. And I'm using, as usual, I'm using Starcraft Special Decay. That was Candy Floss. And we've got Pomegranate. And we've got Wisteria. And then uh, the outer was Saffron. But that that uh, that moved to something else so that was my square I must send that picture off to Jenny and her channel is in my spare time and she'll show everybody that's joining in there's loads of people joining in with her um, so that's that put that in me put it in the book and uh, really enjoying that because you're learning new new techniques all the time and um new new things so that's lovely um now before just before i go on to the the donut cow another thing that i half showed you this um in my wake up whips whips wednesday and my son and daughter-in-law um asked me if i'd do a little dress for hope um sam had uh seen the pattern and this it's um where are we it's by daisy Daisy Farm Crafts and it's the crochet baby boho sundress and oops that's a bit sorry about all the paper and she's on Facebook and she's on Instagram and she has I have a YouTube tutorial available as well so this is the little dress it's a bit pale but you can see it and you you do seven of these little squares that are three inches three by three so you do seven of those make it into like a little a circle around and then you crochet down and then you crochet two straps up so it's um it's really lovely to do i'm using a four millimeter hook and these were the colors that you have to choose three colors uh, the yarn they recommend oh, is the pattern uses Bernat Softy Cotton, but you know that's a bit difficult to get hold of um, without sending overseas. So they chose Rico Baby Cotton Soft because the Bernat was cotton. So they chose these three colours. You have to have three colours. So we have got natural, mustard and smoky rose. So those are the three colours they chose. And you have to have two, two balls of each. And that's the back. So that'll be the front. And then this is, I've just started on, you do six rows of the natural, six rows of gold, and then six rows of the smoky rose, and then you do the little frill at the bottom, and then you just put a little strap here, and a little strap here. But isn't that cute, little dress? And then what you do, it's aged six to twelve months, but that looks, that looks quite big, but what you do... Um, when you come to do the top, you do a row of 
uh, double crochets that's American terms and then you do um you do like a cord and thread it through so that it comes out at the back and you can cinch it in or let it out however to make it fit and then when they've gone past the little dress size the following year you can use it as a little top when they've grown a bit bigger you can use it as a top so that's how that's coming isn't it cute and it's lovely to work on lovely and the cotton's lovely um, using a four millimeter hook I said that I think so I just started that because um, it's going to be for her birthday which is in the end of September uh, but I thought I'd better get it done and then you know while it's still we could have a few warm days I thought I'd best get it done so she could be she could have it before her birthday so she could be wearing it is what I thought um, so we've talked about that we've talked about that we've talked about that and the only other thing is the donut cow right then right i'm back um and the last thing i want to talk about is i had this i've had this book a while i've had this a couple of years and i just i just loved all the little little characters all the little the little animals i just thought they're just lovely for little children to hold i thought and they um it's by rachel zane it's 50 easy amigurumi patterns for collectible crochet and toys and it was 13 pound 33 that was in april 2022 and i'm sure it's still the same now and then there's all sorts of categories there's uh not categories all sorts of animals and sea creatures and things like that and then <coughs> it also tells you that you can use different yarns so um so this one's done in a dk and the little feelers are three millimeter and yet this one they've done in chenille the chenille yarn so it's it's come a lot bigger look they've used um five millimeter hook and chenille aran yarn and then four millimeter dk for the little you know so you can use any weight of yarn but just change the hook to and then the skill level comes in donuts different from one be basic easy and then up to the five donut and in the front it just tells you how to do the basic donut pattern so you just start off with a 20 chain join it together and then go around and increase and for all of them you do this basic donut pattern squash it together and then you stuff it as you go and then you end up with this this donut then you do an icing you do the same five rows as you would the donut but then you do this is the icing so you get drips so you get a drip row and then you've got your you've got your donuts there shows you how to do eyes there if you're not using safety eyes um and you could either use the donut colour. <laughs> husband walking past the window. You can either use the basic donut pat uh, colour or in the book, just for example, I'll say the cow. Look, the cow. It'll say, follow the basic donut pattern to create the donut base in parchment and the voicing in ice. In white icing in white so that's like a parchment color there that looks like the same for the the horns as well and then the icing in white but you just do them any any color that you like and 
just do one or two if you want to follow along. Um, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've got a dry throat. Last week was I chose from random out of a, a big pack of buckles. Then last week was the frog. <laughs> little cute frog. Now I thought thought the arms would be a little bit difficult and the legs. But you you go down to a six, I think it's six single crochet in US terms. So that wasn't too bad. And the fingers, I thought, oh, if they're done in the round, that's gonna be too small. But it was actually done like a little bobble stitch almost so they were lovely to make i was really surprised with how not you did four chain and then you did it was almost like you come back on yourself as almost like a little bobble and then slip stitch then four chain do the next one go into the go into the arm so it was actually done a really nice way i didn't uh i panicked a little bit i thought it was going to be really difficult but it wasn't too bad just a little bit fiddly but it wasn't hard. I understood everything. Um, now, look at the tablet. Uh, Natasha also has done the donut. So if you go across to her channel, um, hi Natasha. I think I've said that before. Um, hooks and stitches. She'll show you um, her donut as well because she's uh, taking part also. And we've got the lovely Mary, Thea and Litza have sent in their their um their pictures. So this is whoops, this is Mary's. <laughs> isn't it? Oh oops. Isn't that cute? I think the legs look like little cheeky drumsticks, don't they? <laughs> they say frog. Are these frogs that taste like chicken. I don't know, but when I did mine, I thought, oh, the little legs before I sewed on, they look just like a little chicken drumstick. Um, Mary's used Stylecraft Special DK, and she's used Meadow, Pistachio, and Citron for the little hands and and feet. And she got on well, except <coughs> the arms, and, and that were a little bit fiddly, so she frogged it a couple of times. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, Mary. You frogged it. Um, and she's done embroidery eyes, but yeah, that's cute. Thank you, Mary, for sending that in. And now we've got pictures from Thea, and Thea as she's done. Here are some of the ones that she's done before the cow. She she'd done them anyway. Um, but she's going to crochet along with us now. And she'd done all of these. I just using the <coughs> oh, excuse me. She's using the um the googly eyes as well. I think they look really nice. <laughs> look at the stars. Like he's going, oh, oh, oops. Oops. That the expressions I think that the the googly eyes give are lovely. And um she said her, I'm presuming it's her daughter, Miss Nine, um, is doing the dinosaur. It's for Thea's uh, grandson's first birthday. She's working on that, so hopefully we'll get to see photos of that. And they're working through the book together, so that'll be lovely. Aren't they all lovely? So that's Thea's. And... Litzers and she she's used the goggly eyes as well in green don't they look nice I'll have to get some of those because they they make it look lovely um and Litzers used the spot saver templar yarn in two different shades of green I think they're all so cute I think those little frogs the frog donut is very cute isn't he so Litzers has got um Coco's Crochet, um, Coco's Crochet is Litz's channel, so if you pop over and see her as well, that would be lovely, and that's, yeah, that's all of them 
that have been sent in. Uh, right, so where's ah, where's mine? Oh, <laughs> I'll show you mine. <laughs> and that's my little frog. And I've actually I've used meadow and pistachio as well and just lemon for the feed but see what i mean about the little foot look like in a little chicken drumstick <laughs> before i sewed that on i thought oh that's just like a little chicken drumstick look if that was done in like a brownie color you could get away with that couldn't you but he's in waving away then i've done i just did the black i didn't put any white on just did the black safety eyes because mine are going to the little children. It'll they'll be under the age of three, so I just thought um, to be safe. Uh, yeah, that's the pistachio. Um, is that meadow? And that was the meadow. So I used the same colours that uh, Mary used. And then I only I use lemon for the feet. So that's that. Right. <clears throat> so let's see what we've got next week. Oh my goodness. I'm almost scared. <laughs> I think a lot of us are dreading dreading the spider. <laughs> I won't think about it, then it won't, won't come out. A big shake. So next week, this week rather, we have got, let's settle on this one, yellow, and it's the pumpkin, page 94, that'll be ready, that'll be nice, ready for Halloween, won't it? So let me just get my book. Page 94. Sure, that one's not too bad. 22. It's just got a two donut rating. And there's the pumpkin. So that's just wrapping that round. Little few little flowers and the tip they always give you a little tip here it says overlap the leaves slightly before sewing them onto your pumpkin create lots of autumnal colors for a fun feel and it says follow the basic donut pattern to create the donut base and the icing in orange omitting the sprinkles so both the, the base and the top are in orange. So that's the next one is the pumpkin. That'll be uh that'll be nice, won't it? Ready for ready for what do you call it? Harvest Festival and uh and Halloween time, things like that. Put the little sticker in there so we know what it is. Uh, right, so that's all my projects this week. I was going to show you, I was going to show you my temperature blanket because we've only got, well, uh, I think it's four, four, we've got four or five days left yet in, um, in, in August before we get to September so next Monday we'll just be we'll be slightly over yeah I think Sunday Sunday the first I'm not sure but I thought I'll save it till next week because that's there's still four or five days left to go yet so um with my temperature blanket but it's coming on I thought we'd have some nice exciting spice colour going but we didn't get that hot so, there's a lot of sun, sunny yellow in it, but I'll show you that next week anyway. The 
the monthly roundup on the temperature blanket will be next week. Um, I haven't really, I haven't, although I've done those few things, I haven't crocheted <coughs> much during the day because I'm on such strong painkillers. They just, they just send me to sleep, zonk me out. So most of the morning I've just slept and slept, but my ribs are still really killing, really hurting. So I'm going to pop to the doctors tomorrow and get some proper, yeah, because they're shut today, bank holiday Monday we've got today. So I'll try and go tomorrow and just get something more suitable for the sort of pain it is. See what they say. Um, still really, really painful. But uh, that'll heal on its own, in its own time. Um, any other news? No, I haven't been able to... I haven't been able to go and see Dot either because it's just too, it's too rickety. The journey is just too, too painful. But hopefully go next week. Hi Dot, hopefully see you next week. Um, and I think that's all. I need to go and get a hot drink for my throat. <laughs> Sadly, I don't know why that's just gone croaky, but. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well and we've had loads so much rain and wind you wouldn't think it was august at all you'd think it was november it's really and it, last night it got dark so quickly and it's it's quite cold you'd think it was autumn coming i quite like autumn but i don't like autumn weather in august you'd think it'd be a bit warmer but um never mind it's not so as usual, whatever you're doing, whoever you're doing it with, have a lovely, lovely time. Love each other and just be kind to everyone else. And I'll see you on Wednesday for Wake Up My Whips Wednesday. Bye. Love you all. See you Wednesday.